Hey guys and welcome, Coach Lori here. I'm gonna be going over functional training and why, what is the difference between functional training and other types of training and why do I love it so much? So obviously I do the Women on Weights program which is more you know static training, we're working biceps, triceps, working the entire body. But functional training is something that kind of works a lot of different muscle groups at one time. So we are doing multi-joint movements. So that means like squats, deadlifts, push-ups, things where a lot of different muscles are working at one time. The one thing that I love, or the biggest thing that I love about functional training is that it is getting us ready for what we do in our daily lives, okay? So let me talk a little bit about some of these moves and how they will help us in our daily lives and why they're really important, okay? So the first move is gonna be that push-up. So it's a push movement. Now think about it, if you are getting ready to push something, a lot of us want to do push-ups out here, right? Wide push-ups. But when you think about the most functional way to push something, it's going to be to have those elbows in and really push forward. So that's why a functional push-up is going to be more with the elbows in than having them out here. Again, there is a place for all of these different types of exercises, but today I'm just going to show you some functional moves. So when you do the push-up, you want to be on the ground, keeping that core tight, belly button to spine. Now watch my elbows. They're going to stay tight in and come up. You also want to go all the way to the ground for a functional move. Because here's the deal as well. If I go to here on a push-up, all I'm really getting is an elbow joint. I'm not getting full range of motion, so all the muscles are working at once. So you really want to get the chest all the way down to the ground and then come back up. And again, just visualize pushing something. What would be the best way to make that push? Is it going to be to have those elbows out here or to have the elbows here? Same thing goes for the squat. Now everybody knows what a squat is. It is functional because obviously every single day we're going to go to sit down or we go down and we need to get back up. One of the things that a lot of people, and it used to kind of be old school thinking, is that you squat only and you, don't, you only want to go to 90 but no lower, okay, because it's going to hurt your knees. A lot of people with knee pain stay away from squats. Now if your doctor says to do that, perfectly fine, that makes sense. But here's the deal, a lot of times, I used to deal with knee pain as well, and a lot of times it means that we are just not going low enough in that squat. When you think about when you're going down to a squat, you're keeping that core tight, right? And you're gonna be here, but here's the deal, if I stop right here in my squat, I'm putting tons of pressure on my knee. Even if I stop here, there's still pressure on that knee. But if I go down to a full squat and then come back up, then it starts to engage the glutes, the hamstrings, quads, all of that good stuff, and it relieves the pressure off the knees. Another thing, thinking about functionality, is that in reality, you're gonna be needing to go down and sit on something and then come back up. But also, you could be on the ground, right, and needing to come up. So why would we wanna only squat to here? Why not squat as far down as we can and make that happen? Yes. Awesome, awesome, Luana. That's great. Thank you for sharing, girl. All right, so here's the deal. Yes, we did a functional training before. So here's the deal. We do those squats. We make sure that we're nice and low. We relieve the knee pain. Plus, we are now hitting the glutes and the hamstrings. So we're getting more efficiency out of that squat. Okay, so that's another functional move. Think about another functional move is going to be that deadlift where we hinge at the hips to pick up, keeping that core tight reaching down for something and then coming back up when you're hitting multiple joints on that as well. Now here's another move that a lot of us do, lunges. It is a very functional movement as well. But here's the deal, sometimes we are here with a lunge and we just go to here. What I wanna see when we're doing functional training is I want shoulders up back, you know, core nice and tight. But can you get that back knee all the way to the ground? That is another, that is another reason that we want to get that full range of motion. If I go to here, I am not engaging as many muscle groups as can be engaged as when I do go all the way down and then come back up into that starting position. So there are several moves that we can do to get that functional fitness. Now think about functional fitness as something that we can utilize in our lives, okay? So again, a push-up is functional because we are gonna need to push. Pull-ups are functional as well because you never know when you're gonna need to pull yourself up. We have squats that are nice and functional. Make sure that we are getting nice and low in that functional training for your daily life once again. So one, I just wanted to come to you a little bit with some functional advice, letting you know that functional training is an awesome, 
way to do that. It is multi-joint. It can get the heart rate up, skyrocketing. If you have any questions on functional training, I would love to hear them. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so, so much.